What is going on guys? My name is Alonzo. Welcome back to another video. Now today I want to share a little something with you guys. Basically this is uh, more added on to my vending machine business. Um, and so in the mail today I got a small box and I want to show you guys what is inside that box. Alright, so as you can see here, this is a very, very small box. Now this is actually, I think, as big as me. Hell! So I'm gonna show you guys what is inside this box and what my plan is to do with this. Alright, so let's get into opening this box. So I have my here, my knife. Let's hope nothing falls out. And a little story about this box. I had actually, I had actually messed up when I ordered it on my address. For example, let's say my street address was 1234. What I accidentally did was I put 1243. So I had messed up both those numbers. So I actually had to go all the way down to the UPS office, um, which is actually not too bad. It was like more or less a 20 minute drive, um, but I was already going on that side of town, so it wasn't a big deal. Uh, and I was able to pick up my box. But yeah, I, I, I checked this morning because I was like, well, my box said it should be here anytime soon. But when I checked, it said that they didn't have the right address. Uh, so luckily I did check and I was able to go and find my box. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do this. All right, so what we have here is some bubble wrap. See, you guys still can't see what I'm pulling out of this box. So what we have here are honor boxes. As you can, here, I'm gonna show you the front. So basically these are unassembled honor boxes. And yes, I they, I did. And yes, I bought these off of Dominic Barbado at VenueSolutions.com. My name is Dominic Barbado. I am the author of Vending Revolution, How to Start and Grow a Vending Business at Any Age. You can check that book out on Amazon. Go and buy some for yourself. These are really, really good to start your own vending machine business. So yeah, I'm gonna take everything out of the boxes. I'm gonna assemble a few of them so I can show you guys. And then I will give you uh, my plan on what to do with these. Obviously, you know, to put them in different locations, but how exactly I'm gonna do that and what candies I'm gonna use and all that. So I was able to construct my very, very first box. It is nice and sturdy. The only thing that I did forget was zip ties. Now, Dominic Barbado did mention in one of his videos of creating this box that zip ties do really, really help with these boxes. It helps keep the box nice and sturdy and also helps to uh, keep thieves away from your box. If you don't, then this pops out like that. I did forget to get zip ties. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go to the store, buy some zip ties because I know if I'm gonna be putting these out there, I'm gonna be using a lot, a lot, a lot of them. All right, so I was able to do about three boxes. I have this one here, which just has a bunch of candy in there. As you can see, I got all a bunch of assorted candy. There is about 90 pieces in there, so more or less averaging about 30 bucks. Obviously, there's gonna be a lot of candy stolen, I already know. Um, but yeah, so what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna tape my business card here to the back just in case that they have any questions and need to call me. I'm gonna do that and then I, uh, actually since I still have some time to kill, I'm actually gonna go out and ask one of the locations that, that I said previously who said that I could put a candy machine but they wouldn't recommend it just because they know they don't have a lot of foot traffic and it would have benefit me. So um, I'm actually gonna go put this one in there uh, because I know, I, I already know the area, I know the space I'm, and I'm pretty sure, and the guy already knows me, I'm pretty sure he's gonna let me put this in there. So yeah, I'm gonna take this with me and I'm gonna go in and ask uh, 